Our universe is full of incredible wonders. We've only just started to scratch the surface of what space has to offer. And although scientists and researchers are trying to unravel these discoveries, sometimes it leaves us asking more questions. In recent years, teams of scientists have started to look into things such as the multiverse, different dimensions, how time works, quantum entanglement and also consciousness. Interestingly, Max Laughlin, who has been labelled as one of the smartest kids in the world, has been vocal about these topics, and has made several videos going into detail about how our world works, and how humans can live in a world where things like energy is free. In fact, he, along with his parents, have come forward in detail that at the young age of 13, he invented a free energy device, saying that this could be used across the entire world to help shape the way that humans live. After this, he started to look into different topics, such as space, the universe around us, and also parallel universes. One of his theories was that CERN destroyed our universe, and now we live in another universe that was parallel to ours, with him saying that this is why things like the Mandela Effect exist, because we remember things from that previous universe, but life in this one is slightly different. There are many theories and ideas that years ago you would have been mocked for believing in. However, now scientists are taking things like parallel universes much more seriously. In fact, just recently, Elon Musk along with a bunch of researchers suggested that we live in a simulation. Scientific American even confirmed these reports by saying the following on their website. So there you have it. The simplest explanation for the existence of consciousness is that it's an experience that's being created by our bodies but not by us. We are qualia generating machines. Like characters in a video game, we exist to create integrated audiovisual outputs. Also, as with characters in certain video games, our product is most likely for the benefit of someone experiencing our lives through us. End quote. Max Laughlin said the following about his theories. There's an infinite amount of parallel universes in our multiverse, and there's an infinite number of these realities. In each reality, we're catapulted into an infinite number of alternate universes. We had an original timeline, but as soon as it started, we were infinitely catapulted into an infinite number of parallel universes, and somewhere down the line, here's our universe and we're constantly shifting into an alternate universe as we speak. And this expression of infinite universes is our reality as we know it. So therefore, if there are other universes that are next to us, and this relates to my theory of the Mandela effect, and how the particle accelerator altered one electron, and therefore destroyed our universe and shifted us into the universe that was directly next to it, and therefore things are different in this universe. He was then asked his opinion on the Mandela Effect and what it is. He responded with the following. The Mandela Effect is real, and some people believe that Nelson Mandela passed away at a certain time when he didn't. This goes for many other things, like Star Wars and video games. One example is Mirror Mirror on the Wall. But when you look back to the original film, it's magic mirror on the wall. And the reality is that some people are certain that it's not magic mirror. That's the Mandela effect. And we're living in an alternate expansion of our universe. In my scientific notes, I found rewritten signatures. And things that are a bit different from what I wrote. Max was then asked how the Mandela effect happened. And how it changed things. He said the following. It never changed, we changed. You see, we're moving relative to our universe, and our universe was destroyed. So now our parallel universe started to move parallel to us, because we were out of alignment. When asked what happened with Mirror Mirror on the Wall and Magic Mirror on the Wall, he said that it wasn't two studios, but rather a different timeline. 
our universe was out of balance due to the Large Hadron Collider, a single electron which I believe shifted us into a parallel universe, considering that because of a chain reaction that had a huge reaction on our universe, I believe the Large Hadron Collider set off a huge chain of events, and that everything as we know it shifted into this parallel universe. This is my belief. Of course this is just a theory, and I'm still developing it, but within that small moment of time we were instantly shifted. It could be possible that people at CERN saw this little vulnerability in the space-time continuum, and they may have gone in and picked out these iconic moments and changed them, to prove that reality is not what we think it is. This could be true, and there's theories that they're working on portals there, and that these changes have come in order to bridge the universe. These are just fairy tales, but all fairy tales are based on something. The previous universe was destroyed, but there's an infinite number of parallel universes, and that means that there's an infinite possibility that everything contained within this range existed and will happen. For example, there's a reality where it's possible this world didn't even occur. Maybe there's a reality where our universe stopped and then destroyed itself. There's an infinite number of possibilities. There is something larger than everything. It's even a paradox itself. We're not going to figure this out for a while, but I think that I figured this stuff out. But as of right now, all of this stuff is just a theory. It's hard to prove a theory about alternate reality and multiverses. I think I have a basic idea of what is possibly happening. It's all theoretical, and really it's just a matter of how much I think I can explain it. The further away a universe is, the more different it is because of each individual event. Now the distance and amount of universe between ours and others is infinite. Somewhere between these lines of universes though we have a parallel universe, and in this parallel universe maybe it's completely different. Everything is completely different. Maybe our entire existence is nothing and never happened, but maybe time is running backwards, or maybe everything is slightly off, like universes are formed from nuclear reactions. In all of these universes, the possibilities are endless. End quote. Interestingly, a group of physicists have suggested that the Large Hadron Collider is close to uncovering the existence of parallel universes. In a paper published in the Physics Letters, the team of physicists said the following. Normally when people think of the multiverse, they think of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, where every possibility is actualized. This cannot be tested, and so it's a philosophy and not science. This is not what we mean by parallel universes. What we mean is real universes in extra dimensions, as gravity can flow out of our universe into the extra dimensions. Such a model can be tested by the detection of a mini black holes at the Large Hadron Collider. We have calculated the energy at which we expect to detect these mini black holes in gravity's rainbow, which is a new theory. If we do detect mini black holes at this energy, then we'll know that gravity's rainbow and extra dimensions are correct. End quote. So what do you guys make of Max's comments? And do you think that parallel universes and the multiverse exist? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.